All right, guys, I have a Halo Reach Team Slayer, Slayer to your Mars, whatever. I'm going to sword base for you guys, and uh, we're all ready to get this show on the road. So I spot this guy right here. I'm going to chuck a nade. He jumps right into it like the fruit face that he is. And as you can see, my DMR is terrible, so BAM! Take him out, and I spot this lovely sniper rifle just sitting on the floor waiting for me. I'm getting shot at, climb up this little lift, and I throw a nade just in case he felt like chasing, but the boyfriend was smart. He was like, no, am I crazy? Am I going to chase arrow shot? Do I want to die that badly? And thankfully, this guy had some wits about him. He didn't want to die, so, you know, that's good. That's good. Kept me alive for some time longer so this may be the first time you're watching halo reach and for you i have to say you're missing out man you're missing out on the greatest gaming franchise of all time in my humble opinion but you know i, I love it so much i'm taking a break from con i'm taking a break from you know whatever I'm pretty much i've been taking a break from gaming in general but when i do game i game halo reach i'm, I'm kind of like that dose Eki man dose Ekis man the guy who's like I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis, you know, like, and there's all these jokes around that, like, Bear Grylls, the guy in Man vs. Wild, he's like, um, you know, I don't always drink my own pee, ah, who am I kidding, yeah, I do, and then there's, like, that one Casey Anthony trial thing, the guy, that woman, have you guys seen that picture, that it's like, I don't always kill my children, but when I do, I get away with it, which is pretty ridiculous, I, I don't even fathom how you can even kill another human being, like, without, you know, being in a war, or without, like, legit motivation, like, revenge or whatnot, but even then, there's, like, you don't want to be a vigilante, you don't want to take things in your own hands, because an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, but, um, you know, I'm not here to talk about morals and whatnot, I, I can't, really can't justify what I would do in a situation, you know, if something really, really got to me, if I had the opportunity to, you know, slay another individual, I probably, I probably, uh, this is a really weird topic, so I'm going to stop it right now. I don't want you guys to be recording this, send it to, to the CIA, find out that arrow shot's going to kill, you know, someone, someone in this video game and whatnot. So, Halo Reach, man, this game is lovely. They keep the amount of BS to a minimal. And, you know, it's just your gun, it's your brains, it's your teammates, and you go on a rush. Watch this! This guy is camping, so I was like, okay, this guy knows I'm here, so I'm going to outsmart him. I'm going to crouch along this base, and I know he's waiting for me. So, you know, I'm going to be patient. Let me see what this guy's doing. So, I turn the turn the window, and look at him! Look at you! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, what a loser, dude. People in this game, this isn't Call of Duty, baby! This isn't COD, you're not going to be able to kill me by camping. When you camp in this game, I'm going to be able to kill you because you're going to be sitting in one spot. You're going to be keeping yourself vulnerable. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to, you know, take you out. And this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He was tempting me with the needler. So, you know, uh, I had so much fun this game. And I I'm running with my teammates almost every single time I play this game. I'm running with my teammates. I pick up the energy sword, slice, and dice, buddy boy. I pick up my killing frenzy, which in case you didn't know is a 10 kill streak, which is, oh god. I just blew up in a massive explosion like a big bang theory of plasma grenades but anyways when you get a killing frenzy in this game that's pretty that's pretty you know pretty commendable you pick up a 10 kill streak especially in a game like this where you don't have your gay streaks and whatnot pretty much just your gun and i'm dmring this guy and he's running so i'm gonna sprint up here shoot him in the face take him out and oh man just had so much fun so Anyways, what I want to talk about today is that I haven't played video games in general in over eight days. It seems like my life at this point is you go to school, you get your stuff done, you exercise, you go to volleyball, um, you do your homework, which takes up probably like a fourth of my life right now. And you know, it's fun. I have to say it's kind of, it's kind of intriguing to learn about different stuff. And oh, this guy just gets severely out the MR. And if you guys... If anyone out there has an eye for Halo, they know that guy just got outplayed. And you're going to see me outplay a few more cats with my sniper rifle a little bit sooner. And this guy is going to get... Oh, this time... This is me failing right there. That's That guy legit pwned me. I have no excuses. No excuses, man. I just got completely outplayed. No sarcasm there. And yeah, man. So, anyone who has an eye for Halo will know... Will recognize another player how good they are just by the way they move and if you can tell like i can tell pretty much base straight up when i'm watching another player how good they are just in the way they move just to see if they waste any movement if they waste their sprint if they're you know aware of their surroundings and i'm aware that the sniper rifle is spawning so i just picked it up so i'm gonna jump into this red vent this red vent of doom come up here and what do i spot 
I spot nothing. Oh, I spot this guy here. Goodbye, son. Lights out, sonny boy. <laughs> Take him out. That must be just so bad. It must be so bad to just get your, you know, your lights taken out. Your whole sense of being taken out by a sniper rifle. You don't even know you're about to die. And it's just like a BAM. You're dead. And it's kind of funny. I'm learning about, um, you know, the Battle of Stalingrad right now in World of War II in my U.S. history class. And we're learning about... Um, when the Russians and the Germans that were fighting, or the Soviet Union and the Ger oh, watch this, watch this. Gonna interrupt my history lesson, and this guy is about to get smoked right- Oh, goodness gracious, that was dirty. I stopped. I stopped. I was like, did I just pull that off? And my teammate comes through here, he's like, what just happened? And I was like, I believe someone just got his ear holes, you know, violated, and that's exactly what I did. So, Battle of Stalingrad, World War II, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, you know, the Russians were trying to get the Germans, the, no, I'm not going to say Germans because I'm not saying the all Germans are bad. I'm going to say the Nazi Germany out of, you know, Stalingrad. And, you know, it turned out to be kind of like a sniper battle because, you know, there was so much cover and so much things going on. It's crazy. So snipers, scary things, scary, scary things. So hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I am out. This is Arrow Shot over and out.